Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Wednesday, new team of the week coming today, and the day before the big day in FIFA Ultimate Team. It's like the day before it all goes crazy with the full team impacts on Thursday. Now, I want to talk about the 12th man today. Talk about what market movements came because of the Boateng flashback SBC, and also talk about Thursday flipping because I have a couple ideas around Thursday flipping. I'm not too sure how it's going to go, but I will talk us through some things on how I think you'll still see a little bit of a market rise, but other of the other areas in the market might be going down. So first things first, though, this was the big surprise today. Team of the year 12th man voting was released. Sun, Tiago, and Messi were in the vote, and this left everybody wondering Where's Neymar? Where is Neymar? Why is he not included in this vote? Preferably, I think people would have rather had Neymar instead of Thiago in here or Neymar instead of Son. But for whatever reason, Neymar is not even in this vote. So Neymar will not have a team of the year item, not even have a shot at one. But that makes a lot of people think that he's going to be in the team of the week today uh on fifa 21 ultimate team because we are having a new team week today of course and he is in the footbin prediction as a center attacking mid 92 rated inform so that would be a big card if it came out today and i guess maybe ea is thinking he's going to get in this team of the week if he doesn't get in i'm not entirely sure what to say but there is no Neymar that is in the vote. Now, I'm trying to get people to vote for Sun because I'm a Spurs fan, you know. And Sun would be a ridiculously mental FIFA card as well. But I think Messi's going to win this vote. He honestly has to uh, just because of the fact that I think he should have been in the Team of the Year 11 anyway. And if he, if Messi was in, then Mbappe might have been in this vote. And then Mbappe probably would win this vote anyway. So it feels like it's destiny to have Messi win this vote and get a Team of the Year card like he should. Uh, probably have from the beginning. So that was the 12th man vote that we did learn about. Now that player is going to be available on Friday. So the full team will go in packs on Thursday and that mess is going to be out on Friday or Sun, I guess, if he wins. That's when we'll see them in packs. So Friday will be when all 12 players are in packs um, and we'll find out more tomorrow on Thursday just how long these full team, the full team will be in packs. My guess is it'll be to Monday, but we'll talk about that um, as we get some more information. Now, this SBC is making some market movements. And, of course, with the new defenders that are out in the game as well, we'll take a look at those uh, in their stats. But this card is making the, the market move because a lot of people were hoping that we would get an SBC like this, and it actually came. Jerome Boateng, Flashback SBC. Now, we were comparing it on the Twitch live stream earlier today. If it was as good as his SBC last year, and we came to the... Uh, consensus that it was not quite as good, right? Last year, the card had, um, I think it had 84, 83 or 84 pace, but he had 80 acceleration. His agility and balance on this year's card is a little bit better, but the defending stats last year were a bit better as well. Um, but still, this is an SBC since there's all the links that this card provides right now in this game with a lot of Bundesliga hype. That SBC is coming in, uh, I think it's coming in at about 220k, um, which is not very bad. It's an 83, 84, 85 rated squads, especially with the upgrade packs that are out and a lot of people doing those. Um, you saw a lot of people today on the market. A lot of center backs got panic sold. A lot of them dropped. If you take a look across the game, especially Bundesliga center backs, right? We got, we saw road to the final Alaba and road to the final Klosterman and both take really big hits today because people, uh, we're kind of blindsided by this SBC. Now, Alaba right now is back to 540. He was all the way down to 510,000 coins. We knew that a card like this and a card like Klosterman were going to rise back up, right? Klosterman went to like 575, I think, right when the, the SBC was released. Then he went back down to 510, 520K, maybe even 500K flat. Now he's back up to 530. So small rebounds on those after-tax profit you could have had. Uh, in that scenario, um, but that Boateng SBC didn't just cause selling in the Bundesliga center back area. It caused panic selling and selling across the market on basically all center backs in this game. This Diego Carlos was 440,000 coins earlier yesterday. He's all the way down. He was down at 400k flat. One that was so interesting to me, and this might have been a little bit of selling based off of just the new team of the year cards and packs and not necessarily 
Boateng. But this Varane Road to the Final card was under 1.4 million coins for a short time period. And this is down 100k. This is down 100k from where he was um, earlier in the past couple days. So I think with the combination of the new Team of the Year defenders coming out in the game and this Boateng SBC, which again, if we take take the hype check on this, 5,600 upvotes on Footbin, which passes the hype test with flying colors. This card is, is going to be an SBC. I would kind of can, I wouldn't say this has as much hype as a guy like Robin had. Actually, if I take a look at Robin, let me see how much how many thumbs up Robin has. I guarantee you Robin has more thumbs up because his SBC has been out for longer. 9,000 thumbs up and this has... Um, this Boateng had 5,000 thumbs up first day. So I would say that the Robin and Boateng SBCs are honestly, in terms of hype, very comparable. I think a lot of people dropped their center backs today. You saw Gold Varan, Gold Van Dyke. A lot of just center backs on this game are down, right? Gold Varan was 140,000 coins this morning. He is down. Gold Van Dyke going out of packs, which a lot of people even invested in, is down about 10,000 coins. So a lot of center backs today got hit hard. Uba Makano was down. He's still low. Um, and yes, you are going to see center backs bounce back from this, right? Because you saw right mids, they got panic sold for when Robin came out. These are going to bounce back, especially some of the live items, right? That's why on stream today, we were talking about um, some of these cards and saying, yes, they are going to bounce back for sure. It might not be right away, but these guys are definitely going to bounce back. So there are definitely some prices to be, I guess, capitalized on today. Now, could you see any of this stuff go lower? You know, after Thursday, you probably will see it start to rebound, but the majority of the panic selling, especially on stuff that people sold to change their teams, probably happened today on the other cards in this market, right? The Uba Meccano's that were down, the Diego Carlos that were down, the Varane special item that was down, right? He was under 1.4. He's now up just a little bit. Um, but that was kind of interesting. And there's just so much hype around that SBC today. A lot of link investments rose, right? Neuer's inform was like 180,000 coins, I believe. And now he's at the 220 for this Neuer inform card. So that was a very, very nice rise. And that just goes to show you that people are paying uh, because th this card rose up and it stayed up, right? I think we talked about that in yesterday's video. When you see a card that is a link investment to a new SBC go up and stay up in price, that just goes to show that it was a very hype SBC and a lot of people are buying cards to link to that player and they're actually using them in their teams. Now, of course, Today on uh, Wednesday, we're getting a new team of the week. We'll probably be getting that double 83 um, upgrade pack, which they've been dropping with each team. We've had the double 82, uh, double 83 attackers, double 83 midfielders. We'll probably get the defender pack today. I don't really expect a big day of content on FIFA. I really don't um, because we are now just one day away from Thursday, which is the big day when the full team is going to be coming back into packs, when we're going to see all 11 team of the year items in packs and that's when the upgrade pack spam will happen it's going to be a big night tomorrow night and i think you might start to see it today into the weekend league rewards into the division rivals rewards time frame you might see a little bit of sell-off especially on the team of the year card market i think you are going to see some cards drop lower into the Wednesday night time frame tonight because people are going to know, hey, Thursday, a lot of packs are going to be opened. These cards are going to drop lower based off of just the amount of supply that's going to happen. And a lot of people are looking at Thursday as a possible time to buy Team of the Year players, which we're kind of looking at too. But I just kind of want to preface you guys, and if you're trying out a Team of the Year card, I would honestly get it out sooner rather than later if you do start to see some of those drop-offs in price because these guys are going to get packed. There's a lot of saved up packs. There's going to be more lightning rounds all weekend. And especially on Thursday with those saved up packs, I think you'll see a window of opportunity in there, uh, but you'll see some panic selling leading up into that. So I want to talk about Thursday flips as well, because usually when we're uploading a video on a Wednesday, we're talking about what stuff is going to rise after rewards. Now, I see a couple things happening here in the high tier market. People that want to buy team of the years, right? They're watching these cards, these new team of the years or the attackers or midfielders that have been out. The high tier market on this game is going to be watching team of the years, watching the cards that are up a lot in value, maybe even some icons, right? Some of the icons that I've been trading with are a little bit down from where they were. I got a nice sale on Fernando Torres. I was able to make about 30K there when I thought I wasn't going to make much because I bought at a price that I knew was low 
But in fact, it hasn't been actually that low. And if, as I'm watching a lot, some icons here on my transfer targets, this best was like 1.2 mil on the weekend, a little bit higher than that. Schweinsteiger was selling in the 1.3s. Uh, this Sanchez was selling a 1.1 one, one high on 1.2. One, this Raul was even selling at the 1.1 one, one high range. So a lot of these cards have kind of slowed, of course, with weekly sell-off. The high tier market's kind of dipped off a little bit from what I've seen. Um, and I'm wondering if you kind of look at it two different ways this weekend, or at least for a Thursday market rise. A lot of people in this game, they can't afford a team of the year item. There's not, a, you know, the percentage pool of people in this game that can afford the team of the year item is not very, very high. So I think if you're going to try some Thursday flips this week, uh, there's two things that I would have to say about Thursday flips. Number one is Thursday is such a big day is that it's going to be a short rise after rewards. And then we'll come 6 p.m. UK time, the content drop on Thursday, it's going to get pretty crazy again. It's almost going to be like a promo Friday on Thursday of this week. So if you're going to focus on anything to flip, I would say you want to focus under that 200,000 coin range, under that 150,000 coin range. You're going to want to focus on Syria and Bundesliga, in my opinion. Stuff that links to the new SBCs, Dybala, and Boateng that are out, or just very meta special cards in general, especially if it's a Serie A card or a Bundesliga card that has gone up in price and has now come back down, right? This Kimmich card was gone up a lot today with link investments. If you would see this back down to like 210, 215 later today, that would be a W for me. Pick that up. You probably would see it rise a little bit as people have done that Boateng SBC need to link things together in their team, right? Maybe for some Serie A cards, um, you know, on a lower tier range, maybe you have like an Inform Insigne from this current team of the week that's about to go out of packs. This guy's 75,000 coins. Yes, he was above 80K for a little bit when the, after the Dybala SBC dropped. Yeah, this guy this morning was about 80,000 coins, I believe. Um, you know, so I would say, look at the market for a under 200,000 coin, very meta perspective, kind of like how we were flipping before team of the year actually came out. We were looking for cards that would move every week because they were hyped up because a lot of people like to use them and because they are on a lower budget. I would look again at those cards this week, um, in forms, whether those be like, you know, one guy I always think about is Zaha, because this is a card a lot of people like to have in their teams. I also think that still a lot of people on the market have a lot of coins, right? A lot of people have coins still from lightning rounds. That they opened up during the team of the year uh, first release on Saturday or on Friday of last week. So what I would say is definitely poke around under the 150, 200,000 coin range on meta out of packs cards, informs, specials. Um, one card that may be a little bit of a sleeper this week might be this guy, Mr. Sancho. The, these record breaker cards are stupid rare as it is. Um, this guy fluctuates around a lot. He was on 300,000 coins on the weekend. And right now it's down. It says, it says he's 290 K. Um, but I saw this guy multiple times today in the two seventies. He's rare enough with a little bit of demand. He could easily go to 300,000 coins. So keep an eye on some cards like this. The really rare ones are even, you know, I've got on my transfer list this Carlos Vela, right? A lot of people are still using the links to the Dos Santos SBC that was out a little while ago. And this Vela card has been very low this week. 115 is really low after being 160,000 coins last weekend. So watch a card like this this week as well. You could easily go back to 130K. So that's what I would say if you're looking at the market, I would focus on only out of packs, maybe a couple baby icons, but mostly just out of pack specials under 200,000 coins, you know, like Pepe, Team of the Group Stage, Diogo Jota. Um, maybe th those are a couple cards that I've traded with recently, the Sancho and the, and the Vela. Uh, this Chiellini card, even though it's a bit above, you know, it's got the Serie A links. It's a very good card. Goosen's Freeze. This uh, Depay as a second inform, you get a lot of lazy buyers on this one. Depay's first inform would be a good one. This Jota card, uh, as I mentioned, the Pepe. And I would stay away from golds. I would stay away from golds because people are going to know that um, a lot of supply is coming for those cards on the Thursday when all the packs will be opened up. So that's all I would say right now is just, I would just say, be careful, right? Because Thursday flips, yes, could be profitable. And I think you're gonna have to kind of focus your investments towards the low tier market or towards the more casual user base in terms of where you'll be looking to buy cards and where you'll be looking to get flips. But I think you wanna get those flips out before 
6 p.m. UK because once 6 p.m. UK comes, it's probably going to get pretty crazy again and you're probably going to see a lot of prices moving around on the market and going downwards because people will be opening up the rest of their saved up packs or a predominant portion of the game will be doing that as um, people still have a lot of saved up packs from the beginning of Team of the Year. I've been saving packs for a long time and they've been waiting for the full team to be released. So that's kind of how I feel at the moment about the Thursday flipping scenario. Um, you know, of course, think about a link investments to this uh, Luis Suarez as well as an objective card uh, because a lot of people might be using him. So, you know, you have Joao Felix, you have the Carrasco in form, you have your Rente. I would look at investments towards this card as well since a lot of people have, have gotten him. And again, it's probably just going to be a quick flip, right? Buying something out of packs that can make a nice quick rise in a couple hours after rewards, hopefully. Um, and then other than that, you'll probably see once you get a couple hours after rewards, you might see a bit of a downturn headed into the big Thursday that it will be with a lot of people um, just ready to open those packs and ready for the full team of the year to be in packs on the game. So I do think you will see some market rises. It is a bit risky. It is for sure. But I think there's a possibility to make some coins on some cards on this game, especially in that lower tier budget. But one day until the full team of the year, boys. And there's a lot to talk about and a lot to think through. We'll talk about that tomorrow night. If we have any big content on Wednesday as well. And if Neymar gets in team of the week, that'll make an interesting play for like upgrade SBCs and where people put their coins for that. But that's the video for today, boys. 12th man team of the year. Vote Sun if you haven't. I think Messi's going to win though. Uh, that's going to be on a Friday, of course. Thursday flips today. Should be just kind of one more day of waiting and, and preparing and opening packs while preparing to open packs for the big day on Thursday uh, and doing a lot of that. We'll definitely be uploading some pack polls to the channel. Hopefully we get some team of the years because that would be a lot of fun. But if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.